So pedicle screw insertion technique, how to get it right 100% uh, in first go? Uh, is Siam the answer, uh, the key role player? Uh, believe me, uh, when Siam shows you good AP and lateral view position of pedicle screws are good, uh, even it can lead to breach on the anterior aspect or the of the sacrum, just like shown in the uh, CT image, which caused L5 radiculopathy in that case. So Siam is definitely not the answer. So what are my reliable friends for the technique? Anatomy is the foremost, the understanding the pedicle anatomy is the foremost uh, reliable thing. Uh, you have to understand the anatomy of pedicle. It is a funnel shaped structure with a cancellous mouth, the cancellous footprint with a narrow waist or isthmus and it opens into a receptive vertebral body. You have to understand the in important uh, relations of the pedicle like just inferior lies the exiting nerve root and medial lies the thegal sac and you should know how to visualize pedicle in the C arm like uh, in a true AP view uh, the uh, eye of the owl are the pedicles and other structures you should locate like how to see facets and the transverse process in the imaging. Uh, whenever I do instrumentation uh, in spine surgery, I always look preoperative uh, uh, imaging to uh, help me like the CT and MRI uh, for pedicle width for the medial angulation. Is there any rotation in the uh, uh, vertebra or to see facetal hypertrophy uh, which can make uh, my entry point getting difficult. The patient position should be neutral. Try not to hypolordose when you are instrumenting. Now the uh, other most important thing is exposure. See, you don't see the pedicle when you are doing uh, surgery from posterior aspect. You just imagine pedicle in relation to posterior structures. You should, uh, while exposing the spine, you should see uh, ideally up to tip of transverse process. You should uh, clearly see the relation of parts the connection between the parts, facet and the transverse process and you should also see the spinous process alignment. Next part is how to locate my entry point. So as I told you that pedicle is a, the mouth of pedicle is cancellous. So you have to expose that mouth, you have to remove that cortical bone. Now several, several uh, entry points are uh, described like mammary process technique at the junction of parts and TP you will see a, a bulging part which is known as mammary process just bite that process and uh, make the entry point. N next is pass interarticularis technique. Uh, it is at the lateral um, uh, meeting a line along the lateral border of pass and middle of the TP and the intersection technique the lateral border of facet and the midline of TP. But whenever there is facetal hypertrophy you can't uh, use intersection technique. So what I do, I usually take the little border of pars, match with midline of TP and wherever this line meets at the little border of facet, I take a bite of that facet and uh, make the entry point. What about in thoracic spine? Uh, how will you make the entry point? So in T12 and T1, uh, the entry point lies at the middle of transverse process or the mammillary body along the lateral border of superior articular process. As you go upwards up to T3, the entry point moves just above and medial, but don't go from medial to middle of superior articular process. At T1 and T2, it again moves lateral up to middle of transverse process and to lateral border of uh, SAP. Um, what I do uh, between T3 and T10, I usually locate the little border of superior articular process and go one uh, two millimeter caudal and medial to that and make the entry point. Bite that uh, process, uh, bite that cortical bone and expose the cancellous mouth. Now you read. Now I have to create my pathway in that tunnel, but there are a lot of angles described in articles. Like you have to go. Uh, 5 degree, 10 degree, 15 degree, 20 degrees. So how to get my trajectory right? For chordocephalate tra trajectory, you have to go perpendicular to lamina. If your lamina is this, you have to go like this. If your lamina is this, you have to go 
perpendicular to it. If you can't expose the lamina, just expose the transverse process, go perpendicular to it. And for medial lateral uh, trajectory, just remember that uh, at thoracolumbar area, the trajectory is moreover straight or slightly medially angulated. Other, uh, at the other levels, it is definitely more medially angulated, but you have to uh, rely on your tactile feedback while getting this medial lateral trajectory. Use spinous process as a guide. Always try to aim medially and always gently insert probe. Don't uh, apply any kind of force, always a gentle rotation from 11 to 1 o'clock. If uh, the entry is difficult, you can use ball tip probe to push the cancellous bone inside that tunnel. And once you get the, um, the pass the tunnel and you uh, insert your probe in the vertebral body, the vertebral body is ready to take that probe. Uh, there are some peculiarities you have to uh, remember about thoracic pedicle. That thoracic vertebra is a conical bone. High chances of lateral uh, vertebral body breach are there and uh, the vital structure proximity uh, make less margin, uh, give you less margin of error. I personally use gear shift technique in my thoracic uh, uh, pedicle screws where I use a curved lenke probe for the first 15 to 20 millimeter, I keep it stripped away from medial wall and then after that I feel all my pedicle walls are intact and then just take out and shift my gear to, to the, towards the midline. Don't go like this, don't, uh, me, too much, don't do too much medial angulation, always gear shift uh, gradually. And there are two types of screws described in uh, thoracic pedicle. One is surgical screw and other is anatomical screw. The entry point of anatomical screw is somewhat higher and uh, the surgical screw is somewhat lower. The thoracic pedicle is not uh, perp exactly perpendicular to the lamina. So it is somewhat caudally angulated. If you want to put anatomical screw, you will go somewhat caudal to that uh, perpendicular line. And if you want to put surgical screw, then you have to go perpendicular to the to, to your lamina. Tarun, can you uh, summarize your lecture? Yes, yes. Maybe we are already two minutes late. So feel never let you down. But in some of the cases, you see where your tactile feedback is not available. Thank you.